this Spotlight program here at IDEX, we're focusing on one of the world's leading providers of synthetic training and mission operation support solutions. And of course, that's CAE. And I'm here with Thibaut Trancard, who's the MD of CAE's defense and security arm here in the region. Thibaut, thank you for joining us. Tell us a little bit about how big you've become in this region and your context here. Before 2016, we were having a couple of programs. In 2016, we decided to establish ourselves in the region, in particular in the UAE, by setting up a dedicated company called CAE Maritime Middle East. The basis of this company was to win and deliver the programs for the Navy, for Joint Aviation Command, and for Air Force and Defense. Now, back in 2023, we are pivoting to a third layer, to a third moment, which is how we can innovate from the UAE together with the UAE ecosystem for the UAE, but also outside the UAE. Now that's obviously a lot of work for you to do, a lot of growth coming your yeah. way. What are the capabilities that you need to bring to this region? More and more, the demand from the region is around data. Digital immersion, uh, diffusion of data, visualization of data. And we are getting more and more into all of that to see how, through the use of what we call the synthetic environment, we can use and extrapolate the real environment to better support not anymore on training, not anymore on mission reassured, but also on real missions. And is this something that the uh, forces, the customers in this region are using today and will be using increasingly? Can you tell us about that? Using today to a certain extent, using increasingly, definitely yes. And I think that's definitely what one of the topics we are definitely targeting. We've got a couple of systems like the Vista, who I've got behind me effectively, which is focusing on training, but also mission rehearsal. That's one of the features that we have had. Some of the elements which are around distributed mission, distributed mission and operation, distributed mission training as well. That's definitely something that we see an increasing demand and an increasing ask on, on, on companies like us, like CAE, to see how we can federate the ecosystem around us to support this kind of development for, for the country. And what are the sort of benefits of synthetic training? Just talk us through those briefly. Are we talking about economics? Are we talking even sustainability? A bit of, uh, a bit of all of them. Uh, economics, of course, it's less costly to, uh, to operate a flight simulator than operate a real asset, definitely. Sustainability, I mean, in terms of carbon footprint or whatever, I think it's definitely key for us. And CAE is very much committed to, to the ESG, social responsibility and carbon neutrality and part of our DNA as well. And last but not least, efficiency. The famous train as you fight, fight as you train is definitely, definitely there. In all of our systems, the use of synthetic is there to make sure that the trainees are going to learn from their mistakes and are going to be able to capitalize from their, from their mistake, if I may say. And last but not least, how we can make people train together. That's great. I mean, and do you see customers really taking this, embracing this in the next few years, and how is that going to affect your growth and you know, how are you going to effectively capture that work? No, we definitely see that. We definitely see that. We see also the evolution of the use of our, of our device from a pure training to mission reassure, even to doctrine development. And, and we really see the trend is definitely there. And do you feel this region in particular has a real need and is going to embrace it? Here in the UAE, we're not only seeing a country that is embracing, that is an early adopter, but is little by little leading the way uh, towards that. Thibaut, thank you very much for explaining how CAE Defence and Security is, is, is operating here in the, in the region. It's been great to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you very much.